We're talking now with Stephen Keener from Washita Baptist University, the Tigers running back 2011 through 2014. Stephen, it is rivalry weekend, and of course that's a big deal at the college in which you played because the Battle of the Ravine, is there a bigger rivalry around? I don't think so. Uh, not in the state of Arkansas and definitely not at our level, uh, the Division II level. Um, that's an exciting week for both teams, uh, especially, you know, the whole deal is just uh, both schools being so close and everything. Uh, it's one of those things that's uh, hard to explain unless you're a part of it. Uh, you know, guys, uh, you know, people who aren't a part of it don't really get the gist of it and understand the magnitude of it. Uh, but I, like like I said, I don't think there's anything across the state of Arkansas or, or anything at the Division II level uh, remotely close to it. Well, you say that now you played football at Glen Rose High School. Did you know about the Battle of the Ravine before you got to Washita and was that a part of uh, one of the reasons you wanted to come? Oh, no doubt. Yeah, I uh, knew about it growing up my entire life. Uh, my father, he uh, played for Coach Buddy Benson at Washita. So uh, I grew up uh, being a Tiger, uh, going to watch those guys, uh, going to watch and uh, see many of the Battle of the Ravines before I even got there. So uh, kind of had an idea of, you know, just how big uh, that week was and what it meant uh, to both programs. So uh, that was that was a blessing to be a part of for sure. And and you knew on which side you wanted to be, right? Oh no doubt, no <laughs> doubt from from birth. It was given from birth. So, <laughs> well, during your time at Washita, your team went one and three. Of course, the the one win came in your senior year. You got a big victory, forty one to twenty over the Reddies in that win. Is there any moment that stands out to you about this rivalry in games in which you played? Of course, the season before was the big triple overtime game as well. I mean, a couple of, of, of awesome, awesome games in which you got to play. Yes, sir. Uh, like you said, the, my junior year, that game, uh, from you know, that went down to the wire from the get-go. Uh, that was a really exciting game. Unfortunately, they got us right there at the very end. Uh, but yeah, uh, the game over there my senior year, obviously, because uh, we finally pulled it out against them uh, <laughs> in my time there, uh, you know, and it was over there. We got to go over there and do it, and it was to uh, clinch the conference championship as well, you know, and we needed that to finish undefeated and needed that to uh, try to get, a, you know, a good seed and home playoff game. Uh, so that was probably, you know, one of the most memorable times for me. You know, I think I speak for the other seniors as well. Uh, that one, you know, it, that one kind of got a little personal with us, so uh, I was glad we got to finish that one out and close that one out there at the end. So, well, I have to tell you, I think Rex Nelson is still in that post game uh, following that <laughs> that win in 2014. That uh, that was a long, long post game, and I honestly heard I think every bit of it. And I tell you what, you had some happy fans after that win. We did, we did. Uh, you know, Rex is great at what he does, man. And like I said, the week built up to that game, uh, both teams were, you know playing for the conference championship and uh you know it was a big one for both sides and uh you know we had the turnout you know the crowd it was crazy you know and i think uh, i think they had to run us off the field over there man they were having to turn, <laughs> they were having to turn the lights out on us we were we were gonna stay the night there <laughs> speaking now with stephen keener former running back from washita and stephen uh Talk to me then uh, about what it means just across the street. It's a big rivalry matchup. There are schools and, and <clears throat> rivalries in which there are, you know, things that happen across town. Uh, you all have this. It's it's across town, but really it's across the street. There's nothing like that. What's it like to cross the street to go play your opponent? Oh, man, it's uh, it's one of those things you can't describe, man. It's not, not very many places. Are you going to get dressed and uh, do most of your pregame at your field, you know, and then when it's time <laughs> – then when it's time to, you know, uh, go out for the coin toss, you, you walk across the highway and walk, you know, walk through all the tailgate and, and uh, go get after it. You know, that's uh, – you got anything to you, that, that kind of stuff right there, you know, that's the kind of stuff you play the game for. Exactly. And, uh, you know, in the game, just the game itself, man, you know, just, you know, all the guys before you, you know, come back, you know, to uh, be there for you. You know, same thing that I'm doing now. You know, I keep up with these guys each and every week. Uh, went to their game last week, and I'll be there for those guys this Saturday as well um, as they head over there. And, uh, you know, those guys, will, they'll be a part of that, and they'll get to experience uh, the same thing that we've all done in the past, man. And it's a, it's a blessing. And, one, and, you know, at our level, it's something that I don't think you can beat. So, 
Well, you know, that final game that, that you played in, you all won, you were able to use that as a springboard, of course. Obviously, you played in the postseason two weeks later with that, that home field opportunity there. Lost to a tough Duluth team, but that was an incredible game as well. And, and uh, you know, was it a springboard from the Reddies game? Because the next game, your final game, you, you go off for five touchdowns. I think so. I think it was kind of a uh... – it was a great platform for, you know, just our whole team in general. Uh, you know, I don't think we had went – I think that was the first 10-0 season we had there, and uh, it was going to be the first time we hosted a home playoff game, you know. So things were rolling right along the way that we had planned from day one. Uh, momentum was going and everything, uh, you know, and just we ran into a really good Duluth team. And, uh, you know, they, they got after us right there at the end and I pulled it out, you know. But uh, I definitely – I think, you know, closing out – you know, there's a reason they play these games, the Battle of the Ravine, uh, the last game of the year. You know, there's a reason for that. And, uh, you know, that's the kind of stuff you prefer you prepare for. And I, I definitely think it, you know, put us on the level to go be uh, in, in the future, put us on the level to go uh, try to do that every year. You know, we at Washita, you know, those guys, they work they work their tails off, you know, and they want to. They want to be on that platform. They want to host those playoff games. You know, they want to be. They want to play on ESPN three. Mm-hmm. You know, so I definitely think it's a platform, no doubt. Well, if if that's the case and that's what they play for for the future, then the future is now because it's another ten and zero season for Washington. It is as they it go is. into this battle of the ravines. As someone who's played there in that circumstance before, what would you tell the guys today? Man, I'll tell them to enjoy the moment, uh, enjoy the week. Uh, like I said, it's you know each each day is an opportunity, especially you know they 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 made it here, ten and zero. You know uh, they've already clinched the conference and everything like that. But uh, you know if you go out and lay an egg and get beat by the guys across the street, nobody's going to remember that ten and zero season. <laughs> they'll they'll remember this group as the, you know the team that went over there and got knocked off. So uh, I would just tell them to enjoy the moment, man. Uh, enjoy the week. Uh, and everything else will handle them. So it'll play out exactly how it's supposed to Saturday, and these guys will get rolling in the playoffs in a couple of weeks. So, All right, Stephen Keener, former running back for Washita, and your time there ended on a, a very high note, at least according to the Battle of the Ravine. And uh, thank you for your time today getting ready for Rivalry Weekend here on Midwest Sports Saturday. Thanks, Stephen. Yes, sir. Thank you so much.